Just finishing up some side quests on the western shores before we head back east. Um, we are going to be heading back to the Dawns as well. Uh, some old friends we want to just get in touch with before we head back to base and progress things into the main quest, which will be quite significant. Probably feels like it'll be a turning point, maybe a point of no return. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell how long that's going to be. Um, feels like there might be a few more twists and turns. I don't know. Um, mainly because we've got, you know, we know that we need to unlock the ability to fly, maybe. But I don't know. That could be an end game thing, though. I don't know. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do a little loop here. We're going to go and do the, the melee combat challenge thing here. Then we're going to check out these relic ruins. Then we're going to move on to this side quest in the fog. Uh, about the the father who stabbed his daughter because he didn't recognize her i guess maybe he's sort of suffering from dementia or something along those lines and then we'll probably use take use that as an opportunity to take down this rebel outpost and then we'll we can head back east through the through cliff watch which is always a fun sort of way to to, to warp ahead back we can maybe check the arena out um as we go back uh, that maybe will unlock uh, maybe the final melee pit challenge is at the arena i don't know uh, and then yeah a bunch of stuff we can do on the way back uh, so we won't be heading straight back to base we're gonna uh, i'll probably do these uh, a few of the hunting grounds as well um wasn't there one sort of in this region Anyway, I can I can check the map later. Yeah, we've got the armor we want to check out with um, the salvage contractor. I think that it, that's the their main camp. Uh, I could be wrong about that. Um, is that in the quest log? Yeah, that is there. And then yeah, Talana is a barren light. And someone else. Yes, Petra. Is it chain scrape? So we'll be heading back there as well. So let's go and take care of Thorn Marsh. So I have done all these, haven't I? <laughs> I've definitely finished them. No, 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 I'm just cutting through. I don't think... I think I'm going to have a claw strider on here, aren't I? Damn it, Cammy! Right, you're faster than me, I think. Look at the mist in the woods. We'll find a charger uh, site. At least it's a normal claw strider, right? Oh sweet Moses, by the wings of the ten! Okay, the fire claw didn't eat us. We're okay, Cammy. We're okay. I mean, th this jungle's so dense, like, it's still re relatively difficult to see Thorn Marsh. Hang on, are you aggressive? Calm down, Cammy. How do we change this?
I don't think we can change the aggress aggressive and defensive thing. Come here. All right, Kami's going to get in a fight. You have won, Your Honor. You fought well, champion. Good day. All right, melee pit time. You stood certain in that battle. Next time I'm on leave, I'm heading. <laughs> Hello there, horned man. This is a training pit, right? Yeah, our squads practice close combat drills here. Name's Tanalo. I'm the master of this pit. Thanks for getting rid of the blood choke. Hey. We don't have to worry about sparring and poison anymore. And just like the other clans' pits, the rules here are the same. I offer training and challenges. You can use your spear and a training bow. All other gear stays with me while you're in the pit. If you can complete all of my challenges, I'll let you fight me. And when I win, I'll earn a mark for the enduring? <laughs> That's right. Once you've earned marks from here, the ball work and scalding spear, you'll be able to challenge the enduring. The masters at the other pits didn't say much about who the enduring is. I guess you won't either. It's gonna be Hikaru. The sooner you earn three marks, the sooner you'll find out. Did he give us the Fonzie <laughs> when he was talking a minute ago? Have we done all of these? Oh god. No. That's why it... <sighs> Of course. I think I've got a lot of few, good few skill points, but not enough for this. Destroyer, spinning scythe, and energy surge. I've trained enough. Energy surge, destroyer, spinning scythe. What two? Hopefully, I can afford this. Yes. Excellent. R1. Pause. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Build up to a powerful spin that strikes all surrounding enemies and clears the area around you. I want, I want, pause, I want, I want. Nice. Energy surge. Right. Fine, I'm back. Good to see you again. I've seen Right. Let's complete all the tutorials. Five R ones. In the water. One. What? This devastating combination is the destroyer. There's a little, a, lot of damage a little light target. blip on the spear when you need to trigger that. So we'll get a, a slight cue at least. No, it wasn't. God, you've got to be quite tight with the timings. Is an attack that strikes multiple targets and creates you some space in battle. Last one. Get 
spear. I think a fast way to energize it will be to use this combination. It'll give you an energy surge. Excellent. Right. Press your advantage in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Cl close in with a power attack, then shred your opponent with the destroyer before finishing off with an accurate shot. Defeat them with the following combos. Power attack, the destroyer, and then a treasure. Uh, will obviously maybe energize them. Okay. No, it wasn't. Ugh. How is that the wrong input, man? You want to maximize damage to a single opponent? Break your weapon. This dude's nearly naked now. Follow up with the destroyer. Right, reap and clear. God, these are getting complicated. Wreak havoc on your opponents and escape with ease. Defeat them with the following combos. So use a spinning scythe. Hold the last R1 of spinning scythe to prepare a half moon slash. While holding the stick forward, release R1. Then release R2. Hold and then ho then hold and release R2 to jump over your opponent. Okay. One, two. Nope, nope, nope. One, two. One. What? One, two. One, two. Okay. Okay, that was that was that was wrong. What? There we go. Not get surrounded. I wasn't holding R2, I don't think. Spinning sight not only hits multiple enemies, it clears the space around you. Okay, energy surge. Um, slash your enemies and quickly energize your spear before escaping with ease. Right, hold the last R1 to prepare a half moon and do the same thing, jump over. The timing on that is, is really, really... Uh, it's a short window. First energize your spear, then energize your enemy by chaining that energy surge with other attacks. Power Rush. Combine your attacks to be relentless on the battlefield. Defeat your opponent with the following combos. Power attack. Before it finishes, hold R1 to prepare a half moon. Then Nora Warrior on release. Triple R1, R2, and then shoot with an arrow. Okay. Oh. 
Starting with a powerful attack can be tricky because they're so slow. So use a half moon slash for speed, then link into other attacks. Please, God, not another two person pitmaster challenge. Please. To defeat Tanalo, the lowland Tanak the pitmaster. Tanalo is a master of the blade and shield, fast, precise, and relentless. He is known among the lowland clans as the Scorcher of Rain Trace. Having brought many challenges to their knees within seconds, you'll only use your the spear and training bow. Oh. No. That's it. You're done. Oh, as if it's a shield guy. I thought these were only in rebel camps. Damn it. Man! No parrying! You've got a great shield! You're done. That's a one shot. <laughs> Only one of us can win. Damn it. Done. Ugh. I wish I had a big shield. <laughs> I really do. This is your shot. Take it. Whatever, man. That's it. I'm being done. I'm getting uh, impatient. <laughs> I don't like that he has all this defense and I have nothing. You're done. Okay, I've learned nothing from all my training. Two blades, one victory. Uh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. That's it. You're done. 
Calm down, man. Make this a fight to be remembered. It's like I can't do some of these combos. Should have perhaps saved that. <laughs> what happens when you run out of arrows? I cracked. Oh, oh no! Attacks. Do you have the will to win? That's no! it, you're done. Oh. I was starting to see the parries, but not that last one. Only one of us can win! You can land it! Oh. You're done. Man, he still gets a follow up attack even though he misses his parry. <laughs> Let's put on a show. myself into the animation. Oh, I'm sick of that, man. Like, I dodged the parry, but he still gets another attack. Like, screw you, right? Take it! 
No, oh, Matthew! It. You're done. This isn't even that difficult. I'm just making a meal of it. It's a shield bash that's a parry and it gets a follow up attack whether it hits or misses. This is your shot. Take it. Okay, I, I dodged him. Oh, I'm not dead. Make this a fight to be removed. This isn't an archery range. That's oh, it. My You're God. done. The impatience is strong within me. So sick of that shield bash, man. Damn it, how did that not trigger it? What happens when you run out of arrows? Where's the fight you promised? Enough of the bow already! No! Well, the base, uh, I yield! God damn shield. Ooh, well fought in there. You really know how to knock someone out. Here. This mark is yours. Thanks. That makes three. Yeah, then I think it's time for you to face the Enduring. Will you tell me who they are now? You'll see soon enough. Go to the mountains north of the Desert Clan's territory. The Enduring awaits where the ruins of Metal Wings rise from the mountain. Good luck. 
And if you're looking for more practice, this pit remains open to you. I know I gladly accept a rematch. Never. <laughs> never, never, never. See you later, Tanalo. I'll be here. Yeah, do one with that overpowered shield. Nonsense. Right. Um... He said it was here. No, that is not it. I thought it was in the mountains. North of Chain... As oh, did you say north of Chain Scrape? No. I'm sure he said north of in the mountains north of Chain Scrape. Desert Clan Territory. Oh. Isn't this where the uh Osirum Salvager was? Okay, yeah, we'll head there on the way back. Wait, oh, is it marked down as an actual side quest? Okay. Alright, so what we're doing now, we're going to head to the Relic Ruins. Before we head to this other side quest, um, is there a charger site? There's one all the way over there, but... Okay, I guess we're going on foot then. I'm not using the Claw Strider. And I don't really want to find the appropriate exit because it's too difficult to navigate this place. There we go. Cheers, guys. Yeah, that's the, uh, we haven't seen any slaughter spines on the crafting menus for stuff. There might be later on. Like, I imagine this competition for the armor is going to be... You have Maybe we'll be able to pick one that we get for free, but then the others will maybe have to buy. I'm not sure. Maybe there'll be, like, Apex versions of a lot of the armor we've seen evolve from the various different cultures. That's where we met with Talana's friend. So there's probably still traps going off. I don't know. It's nice walking through the jungle anyway. In the swamps. An exotic velon. Swamps, but with a lot less water hags <laughs> inside them. All right. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. I didn't do a restock. Right. Okay. Time to take a look around. Here we've got a battery module, several bunny rabbits. An old diner or something, perhaps. Oh, it's one of the... Oh, Aloy. This thing's losing its charge fast. There. Power's restored. We've got an elevator. We've got some stuff up here, too. 
Green shine? I hear green shine. We need some of that as well. Hang on, I can get up here. Oh. I'm just looking for that green shine, to be honest. It's the clusters that we need. I think I don't even think they're technically like the more valuable ones. I think the chunks are more valuable. Right, let's just see where this elevator goes. Sorry for your knees, Aloy. I think this is an elevator. <laughs> Detective Aloy! Detective Aloy, honestly. So I imagine we're going to need to transport another crate. Huh, I could have got over here. Regardless. Let's head back up here. Okay, we can jump over there. That's a grappling. Top of the one. tower should give me a good vantage point of the entire ruin. What this this tower? This is as high as we're going to go. Oh. Why would you do that to me? I think I could have just jumped and not hit the glider. I might be massively missing the point of this puzzle. Let's just have a little look around down here for a crate. Yeah, right there. Excellent. Not bad.
Oh, so <laughs> chain link fence. No, oh, you can't. They've thought about all these shortcuts already. There's some kind of switch. Wonder what it's for. I don't think I can pull the switch from here. Why not? Like the switch controls those old lights oh. and the rails up there. I can see some climbing stuff here. Oh, I can just straight up get up here. Oh, great. I was overthinking. This is a really awkward climb. Nothing but handholds. Why am I going to hide from the explosion, man? Okay. What good does that do me? I'm so confused. Do I need to hit the lever? Oh wait, there's a second one. Didn't realize. Finally. Oh god, don't do that. I mean, I can push it down either side, right? I want that to go through there or to somehow get up there. I mean, I don't think that the game lets you break too many of these quests, uh, these puzzle rooms. So 
Oh, I'm guessing we have to shove this down here. There we go. Oh, well, I'm swimming. Right, so I guess I'd drag it into the elevator. Might be able to reach the balcony from the top of the tower. I have a feeling I might need both of those crates, though. Yeah, so I'm just going to try and get that other crate first. I think I should be able to glide over, to be honest. Just let me try this first, in case I need to stack the crates. Yeah, here we go. Okay, and what do we do with this one? Can we stack them? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what that ledge was maybe for, but... Yeah, because look, this elevator is blatantly big enough to house both stacked on top. Is there another way for me to, s to stack them? Oh, I've screwed this up. This could help. Let's just try one and see what happens. is up on the wall, but I don't think I can reach them from here. I gotta find a way to get to the relic in the tower. Those crates might help, but how?
Okay, I think we need to put one crate on top of the elevator. It's a bingo. Okay. I think I'm getting there. Made it. Another ornament. Stemmer will be interested in this. I should give it to him the next time I see him. Is that the last relic ruin? I think it might be. Yeah, I think we've done all the relic runes. Nice. Okay, and we will now head to In the Fog. Okay, that was not the right way. Right. I might want to take another look around. See if I can find anything else. Really? Ah, we're okay. A hi hill, hilly jungle. That's beautiful. Back into the more sort of normal jungle and less uh, like soggy <laughs> jungle from the southern lowlands. Well, I guess we are heading towards the mountains. So Now, am I going a stupid way here? We could probably get up this little bit here. Yeah. A little uh, little valley here. You can see the lowland colours. Is that lowland colours? That might be Sky Clan colours. Not sure. Greeted by a goat. Um. The path goes through those abandoned Knox buildings. No. I think that should lead me up to the black box signal. Oh, black box? What? Oh, this one. 
It's a bit out of our way. Right next to a save point, Mr. Bellowback. It's just one of them. Nope. Okay. No more stealth grass. It's okay, friend. Don't worry. I will not blow up your sack today. Come on, owl. Not been uh, in a snowy region for a little while. Stop looking already. Wow. Okay, he's literally Mira below said us. Her brother's hunting camp should be near here. Abandoned. The hunting camp. This must be where Fenira confronted her father. I might be able to pick up his trail with my focus. Blood. Must be Fenira's. From when her father gashed her. This. A jar of oil knocked over. Maybe when Garoka and Fenira were fighting. Some of the oil might have gotten on Garoka. Looks like there's a trail I can follow. Let's see where this leads. Yeah, looks like we're going to run through, run into uh, some machines. Here. A claw strider. And a lot of traps. I <laughs> must be Garoka. I better help him. An outlet. Let's see what you've got. <sighs> Thanks for the assistance. Come, let's speak. Okay, that was friendlier than I was expecting, mate. You fight like you're a Tanakh, but you're not one of us. State your name, Outlander. I'm Aloy. You must be Garoka. Fenira asked me to find you. She's back in the village. She's recovering from a wound from your fight. Then she's in good hands. Come, we have to get moving. There's a squad deeper in the forest. They're about to walk into an ambush. By who? Rebels? That's what you want to call them. Spineless scabs. All the same, I could use your spear. What do you say? Fine. Where is the squad? This way. Are you sure? Something weird's going on. All right. We'll make faster time if we cut through the Sentinels. How do you know about the attack? We've been watching enemy movements in the mountain pass. They've been trying to take our territory for years. This is just their latest attempt. Years? Gala's rebellion isn't that old. Something's off here. Oh, 
Oh, stalkers. What? No, not them. Stalkers. Come on, dude, be a bit of help. I knocked off a few fair bits of equipment, few bits of equipment, though. I saw them on the. Uh, have we ever seen them do that? Okay, the dark guns aren't worth anything really on their own. Um, the mine launchers. I was so sure they were. Never mind. We have to get to the squad. Yeah, the guy's got Aruka's having... Aruka's definitely not all there. This isn't looking good. Yeah, maybe he's got some trauma from a war he was in and he's maybe like reliving what he did. Reliving a mission, perhaps, where he lost some friends. Quiet now. We're almost there. J Squad, we're. What? No! It's an old memorial for fallen soldiers. I think we're a lot more than too late. Garoka. Who are you, Outlander? How do you know my name? I'm Aloy. Fenira asked me to find you. I'm guessing you don't remember what happened. I went away again, didn't I? Why are we here? You told me there was a squad. I was about to be attacked. This is where it happened, isn't it? A long time ago. Yes. My squad. The Sky Clan ambushed us, slaughtered them all. It would have been 30 years ago now. Fenira thinks you've been sneaking off into the forest to hunt. But you've been coming back here. There's no easy way to say this, Garoka. She's hurt. Bad. She tried to stop you from leaving. I hurt her? But I would never... No. Everything is... A fog. I feel like I've been wandering through it. Lost. My blade unfamiliar in my hand. And when it finally clears, I can't remember what I was doing or why. I'm always just... alone in the forest. The fog? How long has it been like this? This fog? Weeks. Months, maybe. At first I thought it was a passing thing. Like forgetting after a knock on the head. Then names and faces became... difficult. And I started finding myself in the forest, unsure how I got there. Why haven't you told Fenira? What was I supposed to say? That I'm unraveling like a frayed, weak rope? No. But look where that's gotten you. She has no idea why you hurt her. So what happened all those years ago? So the Sky Clan ambushed your squad a long time ago? We were almost through with our patrol, about to head back to the village when they swarmed us. I alone survived. When my wounds scarred, 
I returned here and built a memorial where my comrades fell. And then I struck down twice as many of their soldiers in retribution. Such were the clan wars. Okay. Uh, it, it, it probably would be upsetting for him to make him relive this. But. Earlier, you said the enemy had been trying to take the lowland territory for years. I guess that was during the clan wars? Before Hikaru became our chief, our clans were constantly at war. We fought over every inch of this forest. The ruined village nearby is a remnant of those days. No matter how many soldiers fell, there was always another vendetta to pursue. They say that's why the wood of the Sentinels runs red. For the generations of blood spilled. There's a similar line to that in, in Blood Diamond, right? Red Earth. They say that, what, it's lost the line? Something like... Um, the, the, the sand, the, the colour of the sand is from all the blood that's been spilt fighting over the land. We should head back to the village. Wait. The memorial. It's missing a piece there. A marker of metal, made from the blades of my fallen comrades. Where is it? It has to be around here somewhere. I have to find it. I know it's... I know it's here. Hey, calm down. Let me take a look. Scavenger, maybe? Okay. Tracks. Leading away from the memorial. Lead the way. Clamber jaws. Clamber jaws. They might have scrapped the marker. Filthy scavengers. On your lead. There we go, a nice little reward for us. More clamor jaws. Oh, God damn it, another one. You damn dirty ape. And they love relocating these things. Boss, I heard that. Where did the last one go?
Damn straight. Find the marker. Might be in one of the Clamberjaw scrap piles. I'll stand watch in case more machines show up. Supply cash. No marker here. I better check another scrap pile. Probably being the last one. Got the marker. Now to give this back to Garoka. Here you go, mate. Don't do this to me, man, please. What do you want me to do? Is there like another scrap pile? Maybe it wants me to just check off the list. Right, I got two of them now. Dude, no. Okay, let's push the tree over. It's a bit random. Another scrap, a bit of scrap somewhere. No, this isn't looking hopeful. That, that's literally every, every piece of loot or gear in the region. I have no idea what to do then. Is there a save point nearby? Here. Thank you. I think this is the missing marker. Yes, that's it. I'll return it to the memorial. You go on ahead. I want to spend some time to remember my comrades. Are you sure? I'll be fine. The fog is gone for now. All right. I'll head back to the village and let Fenira know you're okay. What? Thank you, Eloy. We should accompany him. Right, I had to reload, so... Well, at least I can tell Fenira why Garoka's been running off. Back to Tide's Reach, then. Just have to reload all this stuff. There's a big old chest here. Can't believe you, you wouldn't accompany him. That just seems a bit naive, right? Oh, it was in Tide's Reach, it wasn't in Thorn Marsh. Fair enough.
Right, that's not too far away. You probably follow the stream. Okay. Man, these redwoods are amazing. Oh, claw striders just spawned in there. Oh, no, you don't. Wow, I don't remember seeing the ruins of San Francisco this clearly last time. I'm excited to go back and see the western side of the island. And it is an island now, right? Gotta remember that. Ties Reach is definitely a little prettier than Thorn Marsh, even though it's smaller. I think it might just be because of the blight not being here. Oh, look at this. Little sneaky way in. Alright, we should have brought him back, Where, but... Aloy, you're back. But where's my father? It's okay. I found him. He's not deranged, Fenira. Well, can, can He's is. been forgetting things more and more. That's... He thought he was still in the clan wars, that he could save his squad from an ambush. When we got to the memorial, he came back to the present. Said it's like he's been lost in a fog. Wait. I've heard of something similar, a rare occurrence among chaplains. Their memory fades with the long years. Garuka's not a chaplain, but he is the age of one. Before Hikaru became chief, few of us would live to be so old. Yeah, so I guess. that's why. Oh, thank the Ten. If he was found to be insane, then by rights he'd be put to death. Wow. What? No, he's just getting old. He needs care, not a death sentence. Pretty sure the rest of the village sees that as one and the same. But we'll keep a close eye on him. Speaking of, where is he now? Here. Oh. Oh, little spear. I... I'm so sorry. It's all right, Father. You're home safe. And I understand now. When the fog comes, I'll hold your hand tight and remember for you. You don't have to be afraid. Might not be as simple as that. Thank you for all your help. Please, accept this. Your deeds here, what you've done for Fenira, will always, always be remembered. Thank you, Aloy. Aloy? Yes, Aloy. Yeah, I guess in a warrior culture, old age will be very uncommon. But uh, yeah, found to be insane, you just executed, right? Cultures take a long time to deal with anything like that in, in anything close to a humane way, I suppose. Hey, it's Akaro's champion. That's me. I do think they would have been a little bit pissed that I didn't bring him back, right? And I just left him in the woods. <laughs> See you later. All right. Um. So there is a re there's a rebel there's a rebel outpost here. So we're going to be going past there. Um, oh, oh, Thunderjaws, right. Um, 
then we can go back through Tides, uh, not Tides Reach, um, Cliff Watch. On our way back east, um, we've got a bunch of uh, things to, to try out. There's the arena, which is just basically practicing on machines. I'll see if there's anything more to it in terms of rewards. Um, the Vista points I've just struggled with so bad. And then I guess we'll take the, the northern exit here. We'll maybe have a go at the hunting grounds, the plain song ones, try and complete them. Um, we'll visit... Caruff to see the conclusion of this whole salvager armor competition quest. We'll be go back to the Daunt, and we'll go to Baron Light, we'll go back to Chain Scrape. And I don't know, maybe we'll go back to Vegas to hand in all because we've completed all of the relic sites, I believe. So maybe we'll go back to Vegas. I don't know, that is a little bit of a trek though. I know I can fast travel, but I just hate doing it, but I guess because a lot of this is backtracking, but I guess we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Um, and we've got the Enduring as well, which if we're taking this slightly more northern route, once we sort of, we'll check in here, then loop around here, yeah, down through here, over here, back through here. We'll maybe pick up a Charger after we get through the mountains here. So after we get through Cliff Watch, I guess we can head back on foot to. We've not really explored this area. Oh, so there's a slaughter spine site. Didn't I never notice that? It's got its own little clearing there as well. Interesting. This bit's sort of devoid of icons. Maybe there's going to be a quest over here. The main quest. Yeah. Right, that's the plan. Uh, we'll get cracking with that in the next video. I should probably save my game in here, shouldn't I? Alright, so yeah. Um, we are going to head to the Enduring. Uh, that should be very difficult. <laughs> the shield guys are an absolute pain in the ass. But uh, I feel a little bit more confident building up the energy on them now, so... Well, uh, where's this bonfire? Excellent. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.